Hello, hello everybody. Hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Mine wasn't too bad. Uh, today though, we're getting into it with uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I have played this game before, like I mentioned, but I'll be doing a new save file, completely fresh. Uh, I might just do normal, even though I've done normal before. Nah, let's do hard, because it'll be fun. If it gets too difficult, then I could just do a, a normal playthrough. But, since I don't have much else to say at the moment, let's get into the game. There it is. Uh, I should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Really? Oh well. It's fine. Everything's fine. Story! New game. Art. Yes. Let me play the tutorial, because it's been a while, so I don't remember how to play. Begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. There we go, that's ninja run. Right trigger. <laughs> You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. I'm... <laughs> Bad at this. There we go. I didn't even need to kill them. Cool. <laughs> Actual combat now. Now then, let's run a basic battle diagnostic. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. String light and strong hits together to perform combination attacks. I always want this system. Just look at all those bits. That I get. <laughs> Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. <laughs> First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. You mean the thing I've done already three times? <laughs> Draw foes in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counter-attack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foes' movements carefully. Wow. Is there a lock on button? There's a lock on button. Ah! 
now I'm being bad at this. White blade. This game is just <laughs> over the top silly. It's great though, I love it. Most, a lot of the more hardcore Metal Gear fans haven't played it come so far in just or disliked it. Years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No, the will of a strong people. <laughs> And one very able yeah, advisor. I'm pretty sure it was. You, Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private yeah. security providers, sir. I love the, pat the Platinum Most games. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. It's weird seeing him with a jaw. What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! <laughs> yeah, so much spoilers for the however old game this is.
right, here we go. Come on. You'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self-repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. There we go. Right, the limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP! I'll add the limo to Forget your solid down radar. items that you can pick up in this. You're Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now, I won't. 
Not while he's still useful. <laughs> so long. <laughs> I can't help but giggle with this game. Items. What? They have a metal. A gear? Gear? Right. Take out that UMG and get at it. Catch that missile before it falls. Use blade mode to damage it down. Use your ninja run to the point of shot.
But do not rest easy just yet, huh? Only gotta be sad. He's on the other side of that collapsed building. Go! Hold up. Uh, invert vertical. Yes. There we go. Much better. There, get him. Chase sequence that you can't do anything about. Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Hmm. He was waiting for me. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. Guess he's back. End. That's rude. <sighs> there goes my A rank, though. Oh, come on. That wasn't even close. <sighs> oh, hard mode. Oh, 
Bélgica. Way too anime. <laughs> the hell? Damn it. Hey. Somehow drifted his body. Stream Sam. If I got in. All we're saying. Give war a chance. No. Whoops. <laughs> Ragdoll physics. <laughs> They need to make a spectacle, a spectacle of everything. Unwinnable fight. No, no. Don't be shy. You deny your weapon, it's perfect. 
purpose. Bye-bye, eyeball. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. Shall we? Did you give this crate a nice new paint job. Gotta try hard on that. Whoa. Did you want to practice first? Gotta try hard on that. Waddle away. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. I got a bee. Yep. Two bees. Three weeks later. the metal butt I know and love. 
How is it, Ryder? So far, so good. And there's the chop. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikou? Hi, Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Oh yeah, the left Excuse hand me. thing. Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. And suddenly it's not raining anymore. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but... I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Imani's oh. killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is jet stream sand. Hell we yeah. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. No. Ah, sorry. Ready for insertion. Gross. Hi there, Raiden. Raiden, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solid gun radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. Uh... Sure. Control, it's Raiden. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or Octocamo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damage, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap, Tovarich. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just do not get reckless. I'm gonna get stay so safe reckless. And stay focused on your mission. Looks like a war zone out here. 
The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely going to see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Exactly. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. How are we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Yeah. Because why not? And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. You're right. Thanks. Titan, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. Where's As the soundboard? <laughs> you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from mm -hmm. seized nano paste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more uh, messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take in other yeah, words. Yeah, I wonder who Correct. hired him. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even <laughs> hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? Rude. I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, <laughs> too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay exactly. Doc, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Customize. Let's see where we can spend our points. This is one ability that I remember that I think I should get. Aerial parry. Uh, I know the uh, uh, speed run gets this because it use, lets you get a bunch of height.
Let's start with Aerial Parry. And there's fuel cells, which are nice. Life upgrades, which are nice. The main weapon that you can upgrade with stuff. And then the main body. This one is the one that I would get, honestly. But they're all so expensive. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Riders, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact oh, wait. us on Kodak uh, if you have questions. Around here somewhere is the ninja cat. Because if you try and attack it, it dodges. Skilled cat. Look at you go. Okay, let's go. Wrong button. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To very incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Come on, do it again. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Fix the mug. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Ryden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. S rank, let's go. Isn't there a thing for completing them? The VR missions. <laughs> I mean, did you not hear me make the comment of where's the soundboard? <laughs> 
Raiders, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on sight, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think <laughs> it's actually because of those beams that I've wanted to play. Grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. He's weak, but I have a thing to collect first. And then this area has some um, civvies, if I remember rightly. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. I remember you can save these guys by doing stealth. Operation zone. Head to the waypoint marked on your soliton radar. I used to know where all the items were. Here's a Rex. The cow walkers.
Change sub weapons into grenades. That's it. Rocket launcher. And stabby. Let's try that over again, shall we? There. There. Mode is hard. Very good, Raiden. Now keep heading for refinery. Try this again. This time, hopefully, without the game wigging out. And causing an alert, even though I didn't do anything to cause the alert. Now, okay. keep heading for refinery. Let's try this. 
I can't do. At least we're getting Ryan? all the death quotes. Ryder! Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for refinery. Let's do a different route. Instead of going across the bridge, let's just go straight. Go back. Grab this. Grab this. Wait for the caution to run. the buttons to parry, but it's not parrying. Combat finished. There we go. Finally got that cleared out. Once things go as expected, you it's a lot easier. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attack, huh? Dragon, wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Need this? There we go. Cool. 
I'll do the VR missions later. Oh yeah, this area. I know what's coming. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. Such over the top. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Exterminate! Calm it down there, Omega.
their legs, yeah. Here, let me just do so. I see you're playing cross code. <laughs> How far have you gotten, buddy? It's also nice to see y'all again. It's been a hot minute. dork who spends too much time on the internet. The people said they're too tired to watch the rest. Um, in the DLC? You mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you guys should just go sleep. I'm just over here playing this on hard. Because I felt like it. Oh, this game is lovely. <laughs> it's uh, made by Platinum. The game's a little loud? Okay. Oh, uh, Chanis. Uh, is that how you say it? Or Chanix, that's it. Um, thank you for the follow. Just Chan? Okay. But yeah, this game is great. It was made by Plat Platinum, so if you know the, some of their other works, it fits right in line. Yeah. <laughs> We've had some pretty uh, Platinum game moments, like this one. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so excited for Bayo 3 as well. Give me the subs. Uh... <laughs> I 
you say that, but there's literally one of those anime swordsman moments earlier where I cut a thing uh, in half and it only broke once I sheathed my sword. Yes, rules of nature. And now I'm sword fighting a helicopter. <laughs> I do too. I totally understand lurking. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with lurking. But also price pool. Which one has the gun pointed at him? No! Oh, yeah, I get it. I didn't get it before because, you know, there's a lot going on, but... Come on, attack me. be able to watch that actually since I don't stream on Thursdays so that's where they're holding some kind of electronic lock on the gate most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it you see any cyborgs around here doc why not double back check the vehicle route again you know back at the entrance to the old city <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely platoon commanders carry correct ID data for Hell the game. yeah, cave story. Use mode to figure out who to hit. How far are you into cave story? Chan, <laughs> thank you for the subscription. <laughs> you don't it didn't have to, but I do appreciate it. Cave story is good. Yeah, save. It is one of my favorite games. Dang it, I missed it. Sad. Oh, that's on my list to play soon to here too. Hey, I got an arm. Bravo! Excellent work. 
Hmm. There was classified data embedded in that hand. Nope. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. That's a little hard to do, putty. Considering this game. Oh, don't worry. I totally understand. I am a huge nerd when it comes to it as well. Let me bring up a timer, though. <laughs> it's okay. I got this. That's not attacking. It's not pressing the attack button. It's pressing the interact button. That's my boy. Loopholes. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, hope you have fun. Gosh, now I'm kind of regretting playing on hard. Because there's so many people here. Oh, I did press the attack button, you're right. Time to start off with the timer. <sighs> Whenever I fail a redeem like that, I... Uh, what's it called? Just restart the challenge. Basically, I'm just gonna be running around for five minutes, because there isn't really anything I can do. Uh, I mean... I can do this. That's not the standard attack button. If only I had a sandwich to eat, then I would. Ow. There we go. Ow. Harry practice. his arm. Dang it. Left arm. That's the right arm. There. It's fine. Everything's fine. I cleared the encounter. <laughs> and we still have three minutes on the timer. Let's see, any more pickups? There's one. VR mission. Three D photo frame. Do I have that here? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's essentially the magazines from the Metal Metal Gear game. From the mainline Metal Gear games.
honestly, whatever I feel like. To get to the plan, first make your way to the hotel roof. Um, uh, right now I'm in the middle of playing, uh, Shantae and Baba is You. On Fridays, in which I switch off. This Friday I'm gonna be playing more Sh uh, uh, Shantae Risky's Revenge. Uh, next Friday will be more Baba is You. Uh, next Tuesday I'm not sure what I'm gonna do since I'm planning on doing this as a one-off, but if it does end up being more than one stream, then I'll continue this next stream. And before playing this, uh, oh lord, I've heard things about Project Zomboid. Uh, if I ever get my hands on it, I might give it a try. Hi, Mistral. Those I have. That woman. Putty, no. <laughs> I'm okay. It's not... I, I'm sure, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, there goes the timer. Aiden, what's happening? Your heart rate spikes. Yeah. I, I'm okay I for now. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. I have uh, plenty of games already on my to play list, but if you want to um, make that recommendation on my server, I have a suggestions channel in which people have been suggesting me games to add to my list. Oh yeah, as long as it's not League. No, buddy, you don't buy it and then suggest it. No, I missed the arm. It is now. Hi there, Karmic. How you doing? I messed up the arm again. The arms gives me upgrades. information was in that man's holographic memory. Someone there. Yeah, I appreciate the offer. But if I get it, I'll get it on my own terms. <laughs> I understand, putty. And I appreciate the thought. <laughs> I 
You don't even have my Steam to even gift it, though. Well, you wouldn't need to have my Steam. You could buy a key. I'm just used to people more directly sending it through Steam. That's the reason why you're suggesting it, then I'd definitely be holding off on playing it, because uh, I wouldn't have anybody to play it with at the moment. get more upgrades. I should also talk to these guys. <laughs> but yeah, if I had pe people to play it with, then I absolutely would play it. Trust me. But since I don't at the moment, unfortunately I'll have to pass. <laughs> I'll consider it. Mm. Let's get more skills. Sure, just get all of these. Also, upgrade our main weapon. <laughs> yep, just the entire thing. <laughs> I mean, the skills are really good to have. strategy for fighting the geckos you said to beware the long legs yeah when they're standing straight up they've got a longer reach than you'd expect once it lifts that leg you better be ready to get the hell out of the way you get all that kev the woman with dozaya that's miss trong yep the only female member of the winds of destruction the name is from a cold, dry, regional wind in France that blows from the Alps down to the Mediterranean. <laughs> Hi there, Trevor. I hope it wasn't yep. too Born much Algeria, frying, but I totally understand. They declared independence in the early 60s. <laughs> but you already knew that. Yeah, they were the last French colony in Africa. Hmm, you know your history. Plenty of French colonial families still live there. Biet Noir, they're called. I've heard the term. The main character in that Camus novel, The Stranger, was one. You also find a lot of Algerians who've immigrated to France, although they put a stop to that a while ago. Yeah. A lot of European countries seem to be clamping down on immigration lately. Miss Strahl joined the Foreign Legion to get her citizenship. A woman legionnaire? And not the first. There was one that served in the North Africa campaign during World War II. Anyway, Miss Strahl's been doing PMC work ever since her Legion discharge. We're not sure why she went cyborg. She's officially leading the force at the refinery, but she is also a combatant. I uh, don't have anything on her combat style, but do not underestimate her. The Winds of Destruction are trained killers, all of them. They didn't let her in because of her looks. I don't need a reminder. I won't let my guard down. Yeah, but, um, speaking of her looks, she's got 
Well, I mean, a couple of I mean, huge. <laughs> Look, just don't get distracted, okay? <laughs> Sounds like you should take your own advice there, Kev. Yes, you should go to sleep, Mushi. So should Putty. You guys should take care of yourselves as we go through the song and dance every time you guys stop by. <laughs> as much as I appreciate you guys in here, <laughs> y'all should get sleep because I know it's late for y'all. <laughs> because it's late, Putty, and it's always late when you raid me. <laughs> Oh, I should talk to Courtney and Doctor. It's fine, we'll do it later. <laughs> Your body comes equipped with Mary the Gear Solid 1 and 2. Mode. Let's nice. begin by assuming the fighting position. Now use blade mode to strike all of the targets. Easy peasy. Now remember, I should play the Metal Gear series through. Tool on your fuel cells. But that'd be a long undertaking to play enemies. one after the your other. Your blade will absorb the electrolytes automatically. Try restoring your fuel cells back to maximum now. Standard cyborgs you can dismember immediately, no problem. Other foes will not fall so easily. You will first need to attack and damage them to some degree. I missed it. Oh well. Yeah. And now, the Zandatsu technique. Or the stab and grab as some call. <laughs> Activate blade mode with full fuel cells and you will automatically analyze the ideal cutting position. Execute it successfully and you will seize your full self repair unit and restore some of your vitality. I already now, have one through yourself. three and five. I just forms. don't have four. Like, I have physical copies of them. Well, except for five. Five, I have a Steam copy. Next, let's review special attacks. Approach a target from the rear or above without being noticed. And you can eliminate them with a single strike. I I've done this already. Good camera angle there. <laughs> yeah, four is the only one I haven't played yet because By of way, about your enhanced AI. Uh, it being enhanced on PS4 AI or not PS4 on PSP. Reality vision. Use it for additional intel on your uh, enemies or yeah. to see new aspects no. of your surroundings. So was that Just Peace remember, Walker? Enhanced AI is automatically disabled as soon as you attack. I should. I've actually not played the first one yet. My roommates have a PS3 that I'm sure that they'd let me borrow. So, if I really wanted to, I just need to get the game. And then there's also Peace Walker. Okay, when you say Mary Gear Solid, are you talking about a parody of the Metal Gear Solid games? Or are you talking about the actual 
Metal Gear Solid games. Oh, huh. I'll have to check it out then. Hell, I might do it this Friday you for will Christmas. Come several different weapons in your missions. Best we went over their basic use. Pick up the rocket launcher in front of you. You can equip any weapons you acquire by selecting them in the sub weapon screen. Of course, sub weapons have a limited number of uses, <laughs> you know. In this tutorial, it has unlimited ammunition, but do not expect this out on the field. You will want to save them for the I just will the right definitely time, have to look into this. Try all the sub weapons you can. If across. one of y'all could uh, uh, suggest it in my suggestions chat, that'd be lovely, because then now, I'll remember to actually look it up. To reach the goal point. More rocket launchers and a grenade. Neat. Didn't even get close. Wrong button. There. 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 And there. Haha, <laughs> excellent! Most impressive riding. Your new enhancements are quite something, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'll definitely look into it for a Christmas stream. Yes, return to story mode. <laughs> Especially considering how much I adore the Metal Gear series. My favorite is three. <laughs> right. You need to save? It's always good to save. Roger that. Save complete. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non-combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMC wields <laughs> massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. How long it, are they, would you say? The, the laws, politics, local cultures... Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian oh, voices Lordy. online here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. All right, Otherwise, that'll be enough for one stream. Clumsiest cyborg. Hey, cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I thought have saved your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not that... Oh. And she spills coffee. <laughs> Please tell me that was a joke. <laughs> so these self-repair units and the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process, not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? <laughs> your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds heal almost instantly. I know, but 
And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Literally told me to get good or get wrecked. Oh, lordy, this game. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Karmic. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this guy to move out of the way so I can get to this guy without alerting him. Just don't get hit. Get off. So fancy. Very well done. <laughs> I'm looking forward for Mistra. I like her design. She's pretty. <laughs> Intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Yeah, I'm gonna engage. It means more experience. Well, it means more BP, which means more upgrades and stuff. I should. Quickly. You need to save? Drop a save. Did you catch all that with Dolsayev and Miss Troll? Yeah, I was monitoring the whole time. Dolsayev's not really what I expected. I've seen his file, plenty of photos, but I guess I expected someone more, I don't know, threatening? Didn't seem too friendly to me. No, I mean, you hear terrorist, you think of some cold calculating professional. Dolzayev looks more like some guy off the street. Cold calculating professional types don't usually bother with terrorism. It's too risky. Most terrorists are ordinary people, radicalized one way or another. Yeah, I guess so. Of course, that doesn't make what they do any easier to forgive. What about Miss Troll? What'd you think? Hmm. Well, she's certainly attractive. <laughs> Probably Agreed. an artificial face, though. I'm guessing most of her is <clears throat> Artificial. <sighs> Roger that. <laughs> These comments, though. I'm above you. I missed. Get back here! I missed my chance to parry the helicopter. I love how over the top this game is. Ram me. 
carried a helicopter. <laughs> And then Mistral, once we beat her, from what I remember, gives us one of the like best weapons in the game. Coco, how you doing? It's good to see you around. Right, the cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No, it was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. I've played this before, Coco. I'm playing on hard, though. Forget if I can cut the cameras, but it's fine. Right. Wait, there are active IR sensors in the well. area. Part of factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it. Give me a good parry. There we go. Bullseye. 
Ah. That's right. That's fine. Oh, a hydrate and a stretch. I'll be sure to do that in a second. Hydrate and stretch time. But yeah, how's y'all's month been so far? There's lots. Of, I know lots of people are me meeting up with family this time of year. I appreciate the thought, Snowy. It happens, though. From what I've heard from your f viewers, buddy, it sounds like you've had a pretty interesting last two days. That's all right. I don't expect people to watch. Oh. Why even have? Oh right, I have this. But it's fine. More combat means more BP. There we go. I can see everything, where everything is. Something on the other side of the wall there. He was. I mean, it is on hard, so. I'm also just bad at video games. Let's 
Excuse me. Thank you. Endurance plus one. Uh, thing over there. A jam grenade. What's this? There we go. Data storage. Collectible. down first, because there's always loot when you go off the beaten path. <sighs> that loot being a VR mission, apparently. Oh yeah, it's boss fight time, isn't it? Yep. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? All right, putty. Thanks for stopping by. I really do I appreciate it. Time than I'll that see you around. There. You're in charge here. I am Mistral, the cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer. Even as a child. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I was born in Algeria myself. Thanks. I'm sure I will ha have a great time with it. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my <laughs> life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Yes. <laughs> 
I find it funny that her weapon is literally called a pole arm. Conventional weapon. There we go. Whee! <laughs> Look at her fly away. I am starting to enjoy this. 2D fighter time. It's a good boss. I do like it. But I also really like the first boss. It's just so over the top. The theme's pretty dang good too. Ah. 
No rules of nature. <laughs> This is what happens to Mistral. I really should try and get the uh Mistral, report! Your vitals are dropping. I lost. <laughs> how is she able to talk? So this is how they felt. Look at her. Dying. Far cause. see how we did on the first chapter. How bad? B. The pull arm. Yes, customize. New unique weapon. That's all those skills. There we go. more. It's one more. 
Oh yeah, this this attack. That's a fun attack. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. So, you'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bow. Wordplay. A bow. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. I love the comic about this scene that somebody made. In which the doggo requests to stick their head out of the window. <laughs> Stretch. Get is it? Un mariachi? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you can unlock that as a... <laughs> you can unlock it as one of the outfits you play as permanently. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission is to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI. They're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection. Sneak into the lab and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. <laughs> right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Goodbye, Puffo. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Uh, let's talk to people. This new mission. Back in Abkhazia. Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. Refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Supsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment, and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. 
We still do not know who is supporting them. I Even wonder if who we it shut is. Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, do you really think they're interested in a pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Hmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went is up it? in flames with Dolcev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the I always PC heard that this game plan. wasn't canon. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. One thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Yeah, I'm sad about that Find whole situation, evidence, too. Perhaps we can do that. And Tovarich, be careful. Like, one thing that I would have been super hyped about, I won't lie, is recreating the original games in the Fox engine. Yeah. I really hope it comes out, because it would be just... It would probably come out on PC. It would look great. The only issue with that is that most of the people that work and can keep working on the Metal Gear series can't, don't know how to use the Fox engine properly. Yeah, honestly. Miss Chow mentioned someone from her past. Any idea who that could have been? None. I checked her file again, couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. The way she put it, it didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing <sighs> yeah. more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but other than the winds, Desperado's cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotion suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. I can't believe Dolzaev blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause. But it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzaev showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Akazi's yeah. budget. More Russians, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. It's the very easily out. missable. He could overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Yeah. Th that is what most people remember from this game, as that's the actual, like, combat and stuff. Yes, that is also not as heavy in politics as the main series. How is your eye, Raiden? Great. My sight's perfectly balanced between both eyes. I think my vision's improved, actually. Quite right, quite right. Your eye patch houses an artificial compound eye unit. The unit contains over 200 million solid state image sensors, each with its own individual lens. Exactly. Pixels, huh? Doesn't sound like all that much. More than sufficient for the application. A human's optic nerve has only about a million fibers, you know. Were we to add more sensors, your perceived vision would not improve. There's only so much modern image compression technology can do. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No. Your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, compared to previous ACEs, yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a superior compression algorithm. 
It may only result in a slight perceived change, but it could wind up making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see any better than a regular human. Ah, but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person -person communication. Sooner or later, you'd miss it. Stuff like that's important for some tasks, sure. For this op, not so much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. Well, I'm very pleased to hear this. I can worry about how I look after I complete the mission. Uh. Yeah. Right. Ambulatory unmanned gears detected in sewer network. What? Desperado's already spotted us? Negative. These UGs are not engaged in proper perimeter security. Even were the lab anticipating our assault, they would not set up patrols down here. It is too far from the lab to be effectively guarded. So what are they doing down here? Judging by their behavior, I believe they are gathering AI behavioral learning data. Meaning? With neural AI, there is no delineation between hardware and software. You cannot simply extract the learning data from one AI and insert it into another. In order to prepare a UG's AI for deployment, each must learn its duties on an individual basis. So they're using a Mexican sewer as their training ground? No, it would be impractical to implement on-the-field training for every AI in their force. In most cases, AIs are fed simulated data sets, plus feedback based on their chosen actions. Put another way, they engage in VR training. So then why are they here? I believe they are collecting data to improve upon their VR training code. To build a better VR regimen, they must go out in the field to experiment and gather data. It is probable they are using the sewers to help improve their AI's behavior in enclosed spaces. That's the sort of subcontracting work this lab does? <laughs> it appears likely. No, oh, all great. the beams. And here I was hoping the worst we'd have to deal with is toxic waste. Unfortunately, not. Yeah. The memes, Raiden. My memes will live on. But that's later. Better take out that UG quick. Don't want to attract too much attention down there. Oh, come on. No. Ow. Ow. how to do the quick step.
That was not a good fight. I see a maintenance catwalk. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. Hop back up here and ninja kill. There's the ride, and I know. <laughs> There's the ride, and I know. I need to go down there. But first, check for loot. Oh, wait, I can just use this for loot. That's right. See y'all up there. Rude. Stay off of you, Simon wannabes. The smell would be terrible. Fine. 
It's a terrible fight. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like. Georgetown. George. And just like all them America president. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skonta Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them Skont, nah? No, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? I love the translation. The street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good knee dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a last boat. They pack us all a big old dirty container. Next thing we know, we're here at the zombie lab. All kids, like you? Yeah, a lot of why. But then me been over here what them skunt want to do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man. Same as you. <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah. Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. Me tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them <laughs> with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dumped the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That will give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. Slash. And let's call them, see what they say. Grenade. Yeah, oh. a new type. Intended for use against vehicles, UGs, and cyborgs. Duh. Shell design is first class. The charge, even carbon nanotube compound armor, cannot fully block. Sounds like we should keep a few on hand. Yes. Well. <sighs> what? They don't work as promised? No, the specs are just fine. It is only... Well, if you want quality, you have to pay for it. That much, huh? Triple the cost of standard grenade. 
and Desperado's got a bunch of them. I'd love to look at their annual budgets. Most likely they have good relationship with manufacturer. I think they got insider price. This would be easier if we had a few more friends like that. You know, I've never really developed a taste for climbing through sewers. And Guadalajara's aren't exactly wowing me either. This place isn't gonna go up in flames, right? I think I saw something about that in the briefing. You're talking about 1992? What a mess. Over 200 people killed. That was almost a half century ago, though. You smell anything off? Before the explosions, residents complained they smelled gas from the sewers. I'm in a sewer, Kev. You think I've got my smell receptors on? Local air analysis doesn't show anything potentially poisonous or explosive, though. Well, you ought to be fine then. Besides, a little gas explosion's probably not gonna kill someone like you. <laughs> well, that's very encouraging. Seriously, though, Guadalajara is not a bad place. At least from what I've seen. Oh, it's not. Second largest city in Mexico, after all. I've actually spent a lot of time down there. It's got a lot of charm. The architecture is a fusion of Latin and old colonial Spanish culture. The city's historic district is home to a massive cathedral overlooking the whole town. It's always bustling. It's a lot of fun just kicking back and watching the locals. Walking around the Libertad, taking in the sun with a cerveza in one hand, mariachi band nearby. No better way to spend a weekend, let me tell you. If this PMC thing doesn't work out, you'd make one hell of a tour guide. Meanwhile, I'm down in this dark, filthy, humid, cramped sewer. Also, if you ask me, the <laughs> girls over there are the hottest in all of Mexico. You wouldn't believe some of the chicas I've chatted up. On the street, in the shopping malls, at the bars. Sounds like better company than a robo-wolf and a bunch of plague-ridden mice. <laughs> well, hang in there. I'll buy you a shot of tequila after we wrap this up. The city of Tequila's not far, actually. That's where it originated. I'll take you up on that. Now let's get this over with. I All can't the dialogue. What doing in there. Guess I shouldn't be so surprised, huh? Guess not. Are you gonna help them? No other choice. I'll try to help look for some place that might take them in. Thanks. Least I can do. Did you want to save your data? <laughs> Saving is always a good idea. Okay, save complete. Don't let your guard down, okay? Very well done, Raiden. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. That Raptor may have been smaller than an Irving, but its potential is simply remarkable. Defeating it is a fine demonstration of your body's abilities. I'm quite happy to see it working so well. Well, thanks, Doc. I'm quite happy I'm not dead, too. How does it feel to fight it? Well, an Irving has more strength and firepower. But this guy was a lot harder to keep a beat on. Not that big of a deal, but you definitely don't want to let your guard down around one. Indeed. A combination Irving and Tripod Force would be a formidable foe in any urban warfare scenario. The only problem is cost. A PMC would have to be well-funded indeed to even think about acquiring the necessary numbers to make it work. There are situations where an Irving may be overkill, but Tripods cannot provide the necessary force. So the Raptor was built to fill that gap? Indeed. Its basic design is a streamlined, more compact version of the Irving. Furthermore, it uses the same control system as the tripods, which helps keep costs low. It can use standard personnel weaponry as is, and its armor has been componentized. That is to say, the user can expand its defensive capability as needed. It's fit for standard military operations, anti-terror missions, even regular patrol and police duty. A most admirable check of all traits. <laughs> Adorable, too, wouldn't you say? Uh, not the <laughs> first word that comes to mind. Ah, yes. My apologies. I can't help but marvel at a well-made machine when I see one. There's no need to be jealous, though. Your body is still quite impressive as well. Yeah, uh, thanks, Doc. Let me ask you something. What do you think you're doing here? I mean, why are you working with me? Because I choose to. I owe a debt, and I wish to repay it. A debt, huh? How human of you. I contest that statement. Many humans possess little or no sense of obligation at all. And many are entirely willing to trample their fellow man for personal gain. I know. But is that it? I mean, you're willing to follow me, put yourself at risk, just because of that? What do you think of what I'm doing here, for example? A delicate question. I do find it difficult to rationalize your mission <laughs> yeah. to rescue the children. If 
If you wish to save children in need, there are hundreds of millions of others equally in need. <laughs> Thanks for the support. However, we must still uncover the full extent of Desperado's activities. And as such, it is meaningless to debate best practices without sufficient information. <laughs> All right, then. No more questions, Your Honor. It's not that he doesn't have it, it's that the chainsaw is uh, mounted on his back when he's not using it. gonna make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's a box. How's that gonna help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work actually. <laughs> I love that there's the box. I am playing the PC port. We have to honor the box strats. It's a Metal Gear game after all. the box I am so disappointed in myself oh come on ow ow Call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. There's something up there. There is. I'll need to go back up there and grab that. And then I'll go back and do the reinforcement fight. Dang it. Looks 
like I can't get it. Let me jump off the wall here. Let's do this. Let's see if it respawns the catwalks. Cool. Also, we get another box from this. So, win win. Oh no, it's happened again. for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your Soliton radar. There we you go. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. I can come back here. Whoops, wrong button. Data storage. There we go. <laughs> yes, very yummy, squishy spines. I almost missed this. with your flamethrower. Ow. Chop. They keep on coming. Oh, there's more. Nice. Flamethrowers.
There we go. Best fight. Oh, I got an A though. I'm surprised I got an A. So apparently this respawned. It had a reward this way. Right. I have determined the approximate location of the lab based on the boy's information. It is marked on your Soliton radar. Come on, I was in the box. Flamethrowers. Stop using the dang dang flamethrower. You know what? Charge at me. There we go. Yes, all you gotta do is believe to parry flamethrowers. As long as they keep spawning, it means I get more uh, BP. There's the last. Space wall projection. Pretty well hidden, I gotta say. Yes, let me stealth around with this massive weapon. Maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first, you need to take a dump. I. Wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlay to control the proxy UG. All right. 
Let's give it a shot. There we go. I love how forceful he is with the poke of the button. It's so unnecessary. Start that. Let's see if we can actually stealth our way through that. If we could do this. close. Okay, I know my plan of attack. It almost worked. I just lost track of where the last guy was. One more time. around turns around walk there there right right come on the camera wasn't turning
I got this. Just takes a little bit of patience. I want to see if he has alternate dialogue is the main thing, because I don't think I've ever done this properly stealth. Cyber brains. Sweet, I got his arm. More Patriot intel. Bring me more. And maybe I can develop something interesting. Stuff. Easy. Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room, those were cyborg brain casings. Duh, we saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes, this must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait, the cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. First get loot. And then... Boop. Roly-poly time. <laughs> Splendid! It is all ours! Now, use it to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. Uh... Precision platforming as a ball. Yeah. 
Yeah, they are cute in their own weird way. other foot soldiers. There's two over there. Until that guy turns around and we'll jump down. Especially if it was an articulating Any one. Business, and they might just open fire. An articulating Try figurine about this. Heads from behind. Then an electric shock should knock them unconscious. Yeah. Especially if you could, like, close the hands. That would be cool, because then you can, like, have... If you have multiple, you can, like, link them together holding hands or something like that. Oh, pressed the wrong button. I pressed Y instead of B. It is all ours. Now, use it to locate a data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. But then that just links into me wanting a Mistral <laughs> figurine, uh, posable figurine. Because then you can do uh, have all sorts of fun with the arms. Yeah. Did I? I don't think I did. Oh. D don't worry, I get it, I get it. I mean, when people are talking about pancakes and they mention syrup, I'm always like, yes? Sounds like a good idea. I have no clue what I'd want from Dairy Queen right now. Smack. Wiggle, 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 wiggle.
any more enemies that I'm missing. This guy over here. Fuck. Sounds good. And there we go, we just cleared this room of all encounters. Whee! That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. <laughs> USBs. <laughs> I enjoyed that joke the first time. Titan, I found something in one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. Pre rendered cutscene. of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by sundowner. The Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Mm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. You definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. <laughs> What do you mean, alert? Everyone's down. Oh, I missed a single bot. There we go. you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. Oh yeah, this area. Ta 
time to fight an armored vehicle. As a man with a sword. The bastard is blocking the way. Push that thing back. I've seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe in for the nomination in 2020. And get this two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private. World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. <laughs> Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshall and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking, and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things <laughs> called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters, for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. 
We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin, out! I mean, this whole situation is very, uh, you know... So World risky. Marshal is backing Desperado, huh? You don't exactly sound surprised. I did not catch it on the nose, but I did have a hunch it was this sort of thing. Well, you're the boss. What do you think? Can we take them on? What I think no longer matters here. As Kevin says, we have no legal grounds to stop them. And you? What would you have us do? Storm their headquarters? Kill them all? Will that make you feel better? Good night, Tremor. No, I, Thanks for hanging I mean, out. Look, you heard him. They're already in VR training. Raiden. The Patriots may be gone, but it hasn't changed shit in the U.S. A handful of elites still get away with whatever the hell they want. Raiden, calm down. Focus on rescuing the kids first. We will talk about this later. Yeah. Copy that. Any sign of George? Not yet, no. Our men have split up to canvas the area. You just worry about the kids in the lab for now. Understood. Yes, save, but no dialogue? Got anything on George? Not yet. I hope he's okay. Oh, this is my fault. I could have stayed until someone came to pick him up. Come on. Who knows what would have happened to the other kids in the meantime? Or even now, for that matter. You're right. They're going to be in even more danger soon enough. And there's a chance George is still safe. Somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. I'd better move. That UG. Made in the East? Indeed. The Grad. Russian for hail. It is built by the ally Visnyovyeki Machine Works Design Bureau in Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine. That's not easy to remember. Is it an old Soviet firm? Indeed. Technically, the UG's name is pronounced Grad, the Ukrainian way. But most in the business pronounce it as Grad, Russian style. Crazy to think I'd find something like that in Mexico, of all places. Well, drug cartels have been using Russian and Eastern European weapons for quite a while now, you know. Of course, the arms trade treaty should have made importing something that size rather challenging. Not for whoever's backing these guys, I guess. Hmm. I must admit, I never expected to see my magnetostrictive actuators in action again. Magneto what? An actuator that takes advantage of the change in shape when certain materials are magnetized. It was one of my many research subjects back in East Germany. So you think that research made it to the Ukraine and got picked up by the Wisney w w whatever <laughs> Indeed. This great technology made under the communist ideal being used for something like this. My days of adhering to that sort of dogma are long over, but still, it saddens me to see this. Don't let it bother you, Doc. You made me too, right? And now your latest creation is going to take them down. <laughs> Indeed. I look forward to the day. You ever see the guy in the suit before? I am sorry. No. Nothing in your database? I have no database, Raiden. The symbol grounding capabilities of my neuro AI allow me to identify faces in only the vaguest of terms. I can judge whether I think I may have seen him before, but I do not have the accuracy of a database. Well, that's ridiculous. You're an AI. An AI modeled after the human brain, and thus as flexible and occasionally vague as any human. <laughs> of this man, however, I have no recollection. I do not believe I have encountered him before. Most likely. Oh, man. That was a great interaction. Yeah, might as well. Just to get rid of the beeping. Hold on. Smoke grenade.
All right. Hide there, man. Since Matt <laughs> redeemed a hydrogen stretch, let me go ahead and do that. <laughs> but also, all the hands in this game got me acting like Yoshikage Kira. <laughs> I know there's at least one person in here will, who will appreciate that one. <laughs> you know the meme about everything being a JoJo reference? I realized that that's only really a meme because JoJo is a reference to pretty much everything. <laughs> first. So when people go it Exactly! Metallica... Uh, what else? Just Killer Queen, obviously. There's just references to everything. Everything in JoJo is a reference to something. Ah. Artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested mm -hmm. organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Yep. I'm all about that lore. <laughs> As a Metal Gear Solid and Kingdom Hearts fan, I know how crazy it can get. in smaller doses but breathe too much of it and adios muchachos with that glass and I'll blow his brains out surrender or decide the needs of the many or the needs of the few don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ching. What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet!
Yeah, George is a cool kid. A good kid, too. See. Mariachi uniform. Yes. New body, I wonder what it is. <laughs> uh, skill Main weapon Rank Ah, not enough energy Sad. There we go. Guess we're in Denver now. From Mexico to Denver. Well, from Africa to some place to Mexico to Denver. President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farouk Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? No brain, no more star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! We've been here you go while I got them scone in the base. Why the rat are you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. Yep. <laughs> His subtitles has translation subtitles. That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. It's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, right? They import those brains legally. For medical purposes, it's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right. I... Hold that thought. There's no one in the car. Over the barricade. I will 
patrol ahead. Bye, Papo. Military cyborg, you are not licensed to operate in this area. You're in violation of state and federal law. Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen three one zero four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. <laughs> Get off. Did I knock at the arm? No, I didn't get the arm. Dude's really trying hard here. They just have an RPG laying around there. Another Metal Gear meme. <laughs> Hi there, Matt. How you doing? Yoink. 
Dang it, I messed up timing! Stop kicking me! Playing on hard is tough. <laughs> the road is blocked by barricades. We will proceed through the buildings. You will follow me. Sounds good, Papa. One of these is hard enough to deal with. that. Clean cut.
and staff. Another hand from my collection. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your Soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. VR mission eight. Your route through Denver has been plotted based on data culled from various security systems. I took the liberty of adding a guidance device to your chassis to ensure you do not stray too far. Handy, eh? <laughs> Let's go. Another fight. Here comes more of them. <laughs> And now you see why the polearm is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> Easy peasy. I mean, I know I got a B, but I still won pretty easily, so... There's something around here. There it is. Oh look, another Watch Metal Gear <laughs> They trashed meme. my car. I'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Do you really have to do this? Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Right in. Boris, listen to me. That VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. I'm doing this, Boris. I have to. I can't save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. So you succeed. So you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know um great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor, but he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> All right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. <laughs> now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And unofficially? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Spasiba, Tavarich. Spasiba. And slice. Yes, Tavarich. Ah. I, I do enjoy that they added those types of things into this game since they were in the previous games. Red. 
Shred it to pieces. Is it dropped an item? Please get out of my way. There we go. It's one of them. Now if this one would please move out of the way. There it goes. Hardware box. I find it amusing that they say the military grade cyborg isn't allowed in there and yet they have these things out here in the middle of the city. Boxes, MIP. I forget where the rest of them are. Oh, I got a hand. Don't hear me complaining about that. Come on at me. Come on. One more time. Do it. There we go. Yoink. Hey, the nest rank, sweet.
Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can continue to monitor your status and world marshal security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to overwrite their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think <laughs> of the data, the research. Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. Time for the next one. It's the barrel. Animation of him rolling over and not having a good time. Uh, get that equipped. Grab the item box. Try to avoid falling this again. <laughs> Too much rolling makes you dizzy. Sweet, I actually got it. Oh no, but he has an arm! I missed the arm! Yes, the arms are that important. by accident, but it works. Okay. 
no, I missed it. I missed it again. I must get all the arms. It's the one collectible I can in make sure I get. All of them. Then I go here. Shoot this. Give me that hand. Give me all the upgrades. There we go. Nope. <laughs> well, I at least know how to get him down from up there, which will make it a lot easier to take the stuff away from him. Or take what I want, I should say. If I can get the ninja kill. This guy. That. with the rockets. Come on. Man, have I already been live for four hours? Jeez. Back up. 
there. Come on. Work with me here, game. game worked with me. Terminal. There is something. Yeah, grenade. Nice. Replace the one I just used. new enemy type introduced here. Yep. Alright, be safe. It was just barely out of reach for most of that time. Ow. Oh, there's two of them now. 
focus on the other one. Saw you down there. Nope, not through there. Because there's an item there. Maybe I'm dropping in from above. a lie. That one's not, though. Raiden, oh. Raiden, respond. That Raiden? is entirely Raiden! on me. <laughs> For not using Ninja Run. See the helicopter over there. Oh, one. There we go. Yeah, police force that holds prisoners. That doesn't sound nice. We're just supposed to be cops. What do they do? Some things World Marshal does not appreciate. You're on the company blacklist. We're here to check you off. Oh, I see. And on the report, I got caught in the crossfire. Just a random casualty, is that it? Yeah, pretty much. All just part of the job. You understand. Fuck you! If you're gonna kill me, then do it! Do it! Oh, hey, I got the left hand. I tried to save him. Oof. 
almost fell off there. Didn't get to save the guy. Unfortunate. I got a hand though, so... I will be moving on. You cannot proceed any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. That was quite a fall. This must be the railroad. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. Yeah, no, it's not, thanks to the augmented vision. Right, there are enemies in here. They still have not noticed you. Do not expose yourself. Heck. I tried. That execution. I do like that they, if you do get into combat, it makes it so that it is uh, very slightly brighter so that you can see what's going on a bit better while fighting. storage Apparently there's enemies coming up. Ooh, homing missile. Oh, there they are. How do you could do that infinitely? No. There's 
small repair unit. Okay. I might end up having to turn this into a two stream mode Use deal. Because this game is a lot longer than I remember it being. Ow. I bumped the butt. An accident. This guy. It's two of the ball guys put together as a standing thing. Two tripods. <laughs> These tripods in particular are very tough. Because they don't... There we go. Uh, what's it called? Telegraph their attacks at all. And they're extra durable. But also, time for a stretch and hydrate. I hope you've guys been enjoying the time, even though I know I've not been talking all too much. <sighs> the downtime between the boss fights are a lot less high octane than the boss fights themselves. And as I'm playing on hard, I am trying not to make this take too long through me talking the entire time and causing me to mess up a lot more. Exactly. Ow. Especially since this game has such precise timings. There we go. With parrying and small time limit in which you have the blade mode, that you can have the blade mode active. Oh, nice. I got an A. Surprised. Pleasantly so.
boop. Back into the light. Right. It would appear your only way forward is to return to the surface. You will exit into an evacuated commercial district. Security is heavy, but you need not worry about collateral damage when engaging the enemy. About time. Finally, I can cut loose. Proceed to the right from the exit. You will find a stairway on your right. Those stairs lead to a shortcut to World Marshal Headquarters. Do not be distracted by the advertisements. <sighs> you are not here as a tourist. Sure. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose and that'll be it. <laughs> Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. I understand your attempts at humor, but do not find them entertaining. Attempts at humor. Rude doggo. Right. You have almost reached World Marshal Headquarters. code where I have a lot of leeway and a lot of time played in it. I do have a decent amount of time, just not as much as cross code, so I can't just like casually rush, run through the fights. not an S rank because I took a tiny bit of damage there. Yep, A rank. Enemy ahead, Raiden! Avoid fighting if you can. But fighting is fun. Especially since this guy has... There we go! if he didn't hear me. Anything else out here for goodies? There's a chest over here. Grenade. Oh, I almost missed this. Plus one endurance. Free health upgrade. Ow. 
now. Grab that guy's thing. Grab this guy's thing. I didn't get the arm. Let's try that again. There's the stealth music. You don't get to hear it very often in this game. What's that? Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, anything else I should be looking for coming up? I mean, there's this. That's my boy. <laughs> there's a lot of them in this level. I'm just realizing, because this is all in the same <laughs> level. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. 
Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear inhibiting nano machines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. Corpses stayed. Right. Are you injured? I thought they had a choice. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs? You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my divine directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him... ...dependable. Until now. Scout him data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Popo bot. Also, right. time for more dialogue. Your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. 
Let's call people. Raiden, Raiden, come in. What is wrong? You knew those cyborgs signed up for this. What's the problem with it now? Don't you get it, Boris? I thought you of all people might understand. I thought you knew what it means to take a life, the weight of it. Not an easy thing to put into words. What about when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan? You killed dozens of guerrillas. Duh, because Comrade Brezhnev told me to. Men don't like killing their own kin. Even animals are the same way. But when you really believe in someone or something, sometimes it is the only way. <sighs> Your cause is just right, and you must remember. I'm trying, but Christ. You're right. We've got to free those brains. Yes. Stay strong, Raiden. Raiden? You okay? Yeah. They knew what they signed up for. Maybe life backed them into a corner, but they knew the risks. Exactly. A contractor's always balancing those risks against the money he's making. Those cops are no different. That. And they're actively helping Sundowner and Armstrong with all their shit. Having a bit of regret doesn't make killing kids okay. Yeah. They had to know they were working for the bad guys. Even if they didn't, it doesn't absolve them of all their crimes. Yeah, I know, Kev, but... Ryden? I... I don't have time to think about this right now. I need to get back to the mission. Roger that. Ryden, are you okay? Oh, Sam sure plays dirty. No, he's right. The cyborgs who signed on with Desperado and World Marshal, most of them had no other choice. No one put a gun to their heads, but they were screwed to begin with. Their contracts worked completely against them. Still... I knew all that, but hearing those voices, it hit me hard. I guess I was just kidding myself the whole time. Still, there's nothing you could have done for them, but those children... I'll get them back. Raiden, I... I just wish I could do more from here. It's all right, Courtney. Sometimes just having someone to talk to is good enough. Um... Happy to help. I should probably save your data. All right, save complete. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, riding out. Doc, what did Sam do to them? Well, many cyborg soldiers' emotions are regulated by nanomachine controlled drag doses and electric stimuli. It sustains the subject's confidence while suppressing fear, anxiety. Any emotions detrimental to mission performance, really. I suspect that Desperado also uses it to boost the aggressiveness of their employees. Once, SOP nanomachines were used to control all PMC contractors, not just cyborgs in this way. These days, you can control cyborgs with far more accuracy than ever before. You are connecting directly to their central nervous and control systems, after all. I know all of that, but how could I hear it? Emotions can be suppressed in part purely by chemical interaction. This is done by administering dopamine, using beta blockers, cutting off the reabsorption of serotonin. However, emotions are one way in which the brain reacts to the impulses sent from the nervous system. These impulses come in many forms. For example, external information from visual and oral sensors, or input from the somatosensory system and from one's own consciousness. The changes in intraneural balance, the innovation potential, and consciousness that result, these things are what we generally refer to as emotion. In recent years, it has become possible to even alter one's consciousness via the right electrical stimuli. However, retaining full balance with this method still proves difficult. The latest research I've seen has been most enlightening. A suppressed set of emotions creates a closed feedback loop within the subject's consciousness. The cut-off consciousness generates its own emotion on some level, based on outside stimuli. But there is no way to actually output this emotion. The cut-off consciousness? Well, in an intense combat situation, have you ever felt as if what you are experiencing wasn't real? That you are viewing your own actions from some external vantage point? Yeah, that does happen sometimes. Most likely, the sensation is rather close to that. The consciousness is inherently separate from the decision-making parts of the brain. Experiments using functional MRI imaging have revealed much about the decision-making process. For example, did you know that the brain has already come to a conclusion seven seconds before the decision is consciously made? In any case, while attending the Tucson conference, I heard about the most fascinating experiment. Output from the consciousness was separated from that produced by the decision-making brain. 
If I had to guess, World Marshal has taken such research and put it into full practical use. That's... that's crazy. What could it possibly be good for? Well, judging by your current state, I'd say it has proven to be quite a useful psychological weapon. Oh. Scientists do not engage in pure research because they think it will necessarily prove useful in the future. They are curious. They want to know more, whether about the brain or elemental particles or any other thing. Locating funding for pure science projects is challenging, no doubt. But the results can form the core of future, more practical technologies. Consider the direct links between the theory of relativity and nuclear weapons, for example. Your earlier actions were reckless, Raiden. Not to mention the damage to a perfectly good car. I knew the risks when I decided to go through with this. Besides, the car was mine. Maverick sold it to me. It's not meant for private use. It was made for ops like this. Regardless, your approach has proven most antagonistic. You are now a criminal, a public enemy, a police-killing vigilante. Even if your actions reveal World Marshal's designs, you will be unable to avoid legal punishment. Probably not, but that's a price I'll have to pay. I gotta stop that VR program and get those kids back. I sealed my fate the second I attacked George. But George is not dead. In fact, he has obtained an even more versatile body than his previous one. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. I was a child soldier in Liberia, like Miss Troll said. I was a mentally deranged child. People feared me, called me Jack the Ripper. A result of the so-called Sears program. I thought I'd left it all in the past, but just like that, Jack came roaring back. This is why you are so driven to terminate the VR training. I... I understand. I will continue to cooperate. Copy that. Lots of dialogue. I forget if you can actually, like, take these guys out. Yeah. Or if you're just supposed to avoid them. Just supposed to avoid them if I remember rightly. Because Raiden is in no state to continue taking their lives. I do like that detail that when you're on using the augmented vision, it closes the visor over the face. the little details. Just sneak on by here. Stupid! Oh. 
I think this is a forced fail. Hey, Sam. Not so black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you! How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon, of the Winds of Destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. Monsoon is such a <laughs> dumb character. He just kind of shows up, rants about memes, and then dies. of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, <laughs> who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. The non pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up on the king of kings. War is a cool parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. That this world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater. Means. The DNA of the soul. They shape the world. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they will learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, millions of How about food shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you've taken. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make. Nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! Ooh. The bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee deep in bodies. You? But you, all this is a wake-up call to what I really believe, what I really am. What are you saying? 
I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. <sighs> this, this is madness. You do it. All right. That's why I turned off the pain inhibitors. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see if I can do it without losing this health bar. If I focus hard enough, I should be able to. There it goes. Yes, give me all the DP. Come on. That's a meme. Right, I'm supposed to be avoiding that. now. You sure about that? Did 
this attack again. This one's on me. I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. to say that this is a pretty good place to stop <laughs> considering I have been playing for about five and a half hours now This one. I can get more life and fuel cells. But then there's the skills. Probably the skill I should get. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'll grab the lightning strike attack. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> and then I don't have enough to uh, upgrade anymore. So? Stop it, game. Cool. Since I have been playing for a while, a long while, I'll end this here. But I will be raiding somebody. Or I'll, I'll at least look to see who's raiding. Who I would want to raid. Uh, I will also continue this next week, Tuesday. If you want to see the end of uh, Revengeance. Um, besides that, this Friday I'll either be doing Shantae or Christmas games. But uh, as I said earlier, I'll be looking into those Merry Gear Solid games. Because th that sounds like silly fun. That's an amusing username. Uh, I guess we can go raid Grim. Grim's a good person. So, Ash raid, check no age. Okay. I guess we'll just say Jack is back for our raid message due to the thanks to the game that we've been playing. Uh, so yeah, I would like to thank you all for coming and hanging out. I would like to thank Putty for raiding me and the chat and first following and everyone else for hanging out and just enjoying the game with me. Besides that, I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I'll see y'all on Friday. Good night, everyone. <laughs>